NARAL Pro-Choice America and our one million member activists, I am honored to be here to talk to you about what is at stake for women in 2012. I am proud to say that the Democratic Party believes that women have the right to choose a safe, legal abortion with dignity and with privacy. We believe in family planning because it helps to prevent unintended pregnancy. We believe that a woman considering an abortion should not be forced to have an ultrasound against her will. We believe, we believe that rape is rape. We believe, we believe that a woman should make health care decisions with her family, her doctor, and her God. And we believe that there is no room for politicians, especially those politicians who don't know how women's bodies work. who stands with women and who trusts women. A president who signed into law one of the greatest advancements for women's health in a generation. A president who believes in a woman's right to make her own decisions. I know this president and I can tell you that he cares deeply about the next generation of young women in this country his daughters all of our daughters President Obama had the courage to stand with Sandra Fluke He defended her right to tell her story. Mitt Romney did not. That moment, that moment illustrates what is at stake in this election. Put simply, women in America cannot trust Mitt Romney. We cannot trust Mitt Romney to protect our health. He would repeal Obamacare, taking away our access to better maternity and prenatal care and the law's near universal coverage of birth control. We cannot trust Mitt Romney to respect our rights. He would overturn Roe versus Wade and sign into law a wave of outrageous restrictions on a woman's ability to make decisions about her pregnancy. Mitt Romney would take away our power to make decisions about our lives and our future. But there is one decision that he cannot take away and that's the one women will make on November 6th. I want to leave you with a story tonight. One that serves as my inspiration. I grew up in Anaconda, Montana. of the state's mining country.
My dad worked at the copper smelter. It was a tough and dangerous place where copper would boil at 1,200 degrees. He had a brass tag, and on it was his number, 720. Workers like my dad would throw their number in a bucket as they arrived for their shift. And at the end of the day, they would hang it on a pegboard so their buddies would know they made it out safely. Every day my dad threw that tag in that bucket. He did it for his family. He did it for his car workers. He did it for his community. He did it for his country. He passed away. He passed away when I was in my 20s before I had decided to run for public office. I carried that brass tag with me during every campaign in Montana. This number symbolizes the value of hard work and opportunity and the importance of sticking together. We are ready to do the hard work. We are ready to work together. We are ready to re-elect President Barack Obama. We must. We must do it because women deserve to make their own choices and deserve to determine the course of their own lives. Now I gotta tell you, don't assume that every voter knows what Barack Obama has done for the women in this country. And don't assume that they know the truth about Mitt Romney. Tonight, I'm asking you to talk with your friends, your neighbors, your relatives, even the ones you have never talked to about reproductive rights. That's how you can throw your tag into the bucket and stand with a president that has stood with us. Conversation by conversation, vote by vote, door by door, we will 